All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, uh, this is your brother Issachar coming back at you with another lesson. First, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. All right, in today's lesson, we're going to go into how there has to be, there has to be, you know, a great time of testing. You know, we're entering a time of great testing. So, but that being said, in other words, those of you who are not grounded out there, you know, in, in the Lord, you're not going to make it. You're going to fold like a lawn chair, you know, like Nick Cannon on facts because, you know, um, because uh, our enemies, they are going to test, you know, they are going to test us. You know, that's that's worldwide, you know, although, you know, the elect will get the victory. You know, there is a great testing coming because there's a time of uh, persecutions coming. Uh, betrayals, you know, and um, but these it's um heavy times where it's gonna get very serious out here because um, you know when things start to shut down, you know when military and boots are on the ground, people are gonna start pointing fingers, you know and that even includes uh you know coworkers, friends, family, even neighbors turning on each other, you know facts, so. This is, um, we're going to start off in the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. We're going to go through the whole chapter. For the ungodly, uh, wisdom, of, wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 1, all the way down to the 24th verse. Verse 24. Sol wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 1. For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not all right. Our life is short and tedious. And the death of a man, there is no remedy. Yes, because the wicked are simple. All right, these Edomites, they think when, when you die, that's it. They say when you die, that's it. You know, you're gone, that's it. You know, they're retarded. Huh? So this is what the, this is what the Lord is saying about them. All right? So, so this whole chapter goes into what the, uh, you know, what the wicked are planning to do, how they're planning to test. Uh, you righteous out there that believe in the Lord, okay? Because yes, there's some, of course, you know, who are kind of, you know, they're, you know, they're nervous a little bit, but there's, there's a big number that are like, well, let's test them, you know, let's see, you know, Let, let's see if they're uh, really the sons of uh, Yahweh, you know, absolutely, let's see if they really believe. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave, see that? Because the wicked right now, they're saying that, uh, yeah, once you die, that's it. You know, once you die, that's it. You know, you only got one life, live life to the fullest. You know, no, that's incorrect. You know, so this is why, you know, uh, the Lord says, you know, don't, the wicked are retarded. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2, verse 2. For we are born at all adventure, and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. For the breath in our nostrils is as smoke and a little spark in the moving of a heart verse 3 which being extinguished our body shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish into the soft air see that see, they're not saying well when we die we go <clears throat> we're all gonna go meet you know god <clears throat> you know yahweh <clears throat> they're saying well when you die <clears throat> salakia they're saying when you die you die that's it you know which is uh, completely foolish, because uh, when when you pass away, you know, you, uh, death is just a transition. You go from this tabernacle to the next. You know, you go straight to uh, in front of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You know, and the books are open. You go straight to the spiritual realm immediately. You know, verse four, and our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works and remembrance and our life shall pass away as the entrance of a cloud and shall be this should be dispersed as as a mist that is driven away 
with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2 verse 5 all the way down to the 24th verse. For our time is a very shadow that passeth that passeth away and after our end there is no returning. See that? <clears throat> because that's what they're saying. You know, like once we die, that's it. You're, you're gone. You know, that's completely foolish. For it is fast sealed so that no man cometh again. See? So they're saying basically you got one life, you know, live it up. No. Okay? That's one thing about the wicked, you know, give, you know, a little FYI. Um, they're afraid of death. Huh? That's their weakness. You know, they're afraid of death because they don't understand it. You see, once you know how life and death works, it's going to take off a lot of weight off your shoulders. You know, um, our spirits never die. But this is the wicked, you know, this is what they think. You know, because uh, they're simple. Verse 6, Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present. Yeah, that's why a lot of people sell out. Okay, not everybody, but that's why the majority, they bow the knee. They sell out, you know. These celebrities, they take out their loved ones, you know, just to climb up the ladder. Uh, Kanye is a perfect example, you know. And let us speedily use the creatures like as in the youth. Verse 7. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments and let no flower of the spring pass by us. Let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. <clears throat> Verse 9. Let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness. Let us cleave tokens, our joyfulness, in every place. This is our portion, and our lot <clears throat> is this. Verse 10. Let us oppress, oh, pay attention. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2, verse 10. Here we go. So this is, you know, how we're going to start getting into how the wicked, you know, they're going to test, okay, a lot of us. Okay, they're going to test uh, the righteous who believe in the Lord, you know. Verse 10, so this is what they're saying. Let us oppress the poor, righteous man. See that? Because they oppress, you know. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence ancient gray hairs of the age. So they're not going to spare... Uh, they're not going to spare, you know, young or old. All right. Uh, you can get that in um, a second Ezra. Okay, I believe it's the 15th or 16th chapter. And it says they're going to come in sparing none. They're going to be like madmen sparing none. That's why the slogan of the NWO, New World Order, is expect no mercy. Okay, there's no wiggle room there. Okay, and a lot of you are going to, you're going to find out the hard way. You know, because uh, you may be laughing, giggling now, but, you know, um... They really are, you know, they really are going to roll because, um, you know, sometimes, yeah, you know, you, you hear, you know, uh, because, you know, we're opposite, you know, the right side, of course, is opposite than the left hand side, but they are going to roll, you know, that's one thing that you got to understand because, you know, they know that, you know, that they're going into slavery, you know, you don't think those bosses don't know. So, of course, you know, they're going to roll, you know, so the top bosses are like, you know. Saying, well, if we're not going to make it out of here, no one's going to make it out of here. And they're they're really going to have an extermination policy on you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Okay, those of you two that uh, believe in the Lord, you know, especially because they already have a depopulation agenda uh, in the NWO, you know. But they're especially, you know, going to go after those who believe in the Lord, you know, because, you know, they're... Uh, you know, that that's primary primary targets, you know, because the left hand versus the right hand, you know, it's kind of like in that movie Star Wars, you know, remember with Darth Vader and then you had the uh, the Jedis. OK, that's how it is. You know, that's the left hand side against the right hand side. Remember when uh, uh, um, I believe it was um, uh, when when they uh, when they fought uh, when they fought. The movie Star Wars, when they fought against uh, Darth Maul, you know, there was not even no talking. As soon as they saw each other, it was always, it was on. You know, as soon as they saw each other, they never talked. They just, lightsabers came out and it was on. Because that represents the left-hand side against the right-hand side. You know, there are true rivalries, you know. 
true rivalries. You know, there's no coming together, you know, because it's the left-hand side against the right-hand side. You know, and I'll, I'll explain to you real fast. The left-hand side are, are those who believe in Satan, you know, bafflement, you know, truly, you know, who really sold their soul, who, you know, really are for Satan. Not those who just kind of pretend and, no, those who really believe in Satan and bafflement. Okay, that's the left-hand side. The right-hand side is those who believe in Yahawashai, okay, who the world stubbornly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, facts, you know? Absolutely. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse... Verse 11. Let our strength be of the law of justice, for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous. See that? Because they're plotting and planning. Okay, against you righteous. Because he is not for our turn, and he is clean contrary to our doings. Okay, because, yes, because the right, the right hand side is, um, you know, telling the left hand side that, you know, you're not supposed to be doing what they're doing, you know, killing, stealing, you know, all that stuff, you know, and so the left hand side is like, oh, you know, who are they to tell us how to live? You know, they're completely opposite from us. He upbraided us with our offending the law and objected to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. Verse 13. Okay, he's talking, going to the prophets now. He professes to have known the knowledge of the Most High, and he calleth himself the child of the, of the Lord. Okay, so who's calling themselves right now the children of, of Israel? All right, it's, uh, there's a great awakening going across the four corners of the earth, right, you Israelites, but the prophets are the main ones, you know, condemning these devils, you know, telling them, because, you know, we're supposed to be living according to, you know, our Lord, you know, the Bible, see? He was made to reprove our thoughts. See, because this is them getting wicked, you know, saying like, hey, you know, who, who, are, who, are, who are these dudes, you know, telling us what to do and that our life is not right, you know? Verse 15, he is grievous unto us to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashions. Yeah, because see, the right-hand side, they truly follow the Lord. Okay, they don't eat pork, you know? But uh, yeah, you know, they still sin, you know, but not willfully because in these fleshy bodies, you know, um, we're all still going to sin. We're all going to have slip ups all the way to the kingdom because we're underneath the curses still and we're in these chains of darkness, you know, but they uh, the righteous, you know, truly, you know, are opposite. You know, they're not going to do the same things like like the left hand side. You know, they're not going to sell out. They're not going to eat pork. They're not going to do things like that, you know. Uh, they're not going to sacrifice their family members, you know, none of that because uh, they're opposite. That's why he's saying right here back in the 15th verse, he is grievous unto us even to behold for his life is not like other men's. Yeah, because they're saying hey, these dudes are different right here, you know, because they're starting to figure out that the elect, which consists of men, women and children. Okay, because they're different. You know, they're not going to they're not going to sell out. They're not going to compromise like Nick Cannon. Like LeBron James, like uh, Beyonce, you know, like, hey, they're different, you know, you know, like, what, what's up with these dudes, you know, you know, like, a, you know, like a dog kind of looks kind of sideways, like, huh, you know, so that's how they're looking like, hey, what's going on, you know, you know, they, you know, they, they won't sell out for women, they won't sell out for a TV show, like, what do you mean, you know, because that's, uh, because that's Esau's go-to card, you know, like, hey, will they, will they sell out, you know, did you talk to them, you know, um, can you convince him to change his ways? You know, the bosses always say, will he take a bag? You know, meaning a bribe. You know, and the, the elect are like, no way, you know, because they're, they're, they're different. Because they're the elect. So they won't sell out. They won't compromise like, the, like these two-thirds out here who are simple. His ways are of another fashion. See, that's they're saying, man, what's going on with them, you know? You know, how can we can't get them to bow down, to compromise? Because they're the elect. You know, they're, they're of the Lord's. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 16. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. Yeah, because, uh, you see that? So, yeah, because the prophets are saying that they're uh, imposters, you know? That they're, um, because those small hats over there in Israel and Hollywood... Yeah, they're, uh, they're imposters. They are counterfeits. They're not who they say they are. All right? Uh, we are. Okay, we are the...
the uh, children of the Lord. You know, the so-called blacks, Latino, and Native American Indians, the 12 tribes. You get that in James chapter 1, verse 1. There's 12 tribes, you know, because if those small hats are the children, then where are the other 11 tribes? You see? Huh? You dig? He, he abstraineth from our ways as from filthiness. See that? Because the prophets are out there saying, man, you guys are sick, you know? You guys are despicable. You know, because they really do a lot of things, you know, like uh, witchcraft, you know, orgies and all that stuff, you know. They do all, you know, all kinds of stuff to conjure up demons. He, pro uh, you know, ba uh, baby sacrifice. He pronounced the end is of the just to be blessed. He maketh his boast that the Most High is his father. See? And who's the one saying that, you know, out there saying that, uh, that they're the children of the Lord? The, the prophets. Okay, because uh, Israelites around the world, too, they're waking up like, yeah, we are the children. But who are the main ones saying it? The prophets. Let us, verse 17, here we go, okay? Because this is the wicked saying, okay, well, let's test them then. Let's see. You know, because remember, some of the wicked, they are a little nervous. You know, but a lot of them like, well, let's test them. You know, let's roll on them. Let's see, you know, forget it. You know, sign that paper. You know, because they're wait what do they need? You know, they need paperwork, a coroner, and a cleanup crew. And then they're going to roll. You know, facts. You know, they are going to roll. Don't think for one second out there that, because uh, this is very serious, that they're not going to roll. You know, they're, they are going to roll. You know? Absolutely. Right here. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 17. Let us see if his words be true. Let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. See that? So they're like, all right, well, let's, hey, bring them in. You know, bring them into the torture room. You know, let's roll on them. Let's see if their power, you know, well, it's going to help them. You know, like, let's see, you know, exactly. You know, so that's what the prophets are saying too. Yeah, come on in, you know, the water's just fine. There's only one way to find out. You know, there's only one way to find out. Huh? But that's what the wicked are saying, you know, uh, the majority of them. Because you know, there are some that are like, oh, snap, you know. But the majority of them are like, well, let's see, you know, like, hey, let's, let's roll on them. Let's see if it's true, you know. And they are going to find out because... They, they will get some of the elect because it is written. There's only a few that they're going to get, you know, but they have to be martyrs for the Lord. But the rest are, you know, there's going to be uh, divine intervention. The angels the angels are going to intervene. Uh, the 144,000 are going to protect them. Yahweh Shai is going to protect them. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, through miracles, miraculous miracles. Verse 18, for if the just man be the son of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he will help them, see? Because that's what they're saying. Well, if they're the sons of God, let's roll on them, you know? And, and, you know, there has to be divine intervention, you know? Well, this is what they're saying, you know, even right now. You know, you don't think they're plotting and planning? Oh, absolutely. And deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Let us examine his despitefulness and torture, see? Let him, let us examine him with despitefulness and torture, because... Yeah, they're going to be uh, torturing. They got torture camps, you know. They got concentration camps, different camps, you know. Some for re-education, some for torture, and stri some straight for execution. That we may know his meekness and prove his patience. See, because they're going to test all of us, okay, worldwide, you know, facts. You know, because they're saying, well, if the Lord's going to stick up for them, you know, let's see. You know, let's roll on them and let's see, you know. And that's what the prophets are saying too, you know, because, uh, you know, the prophets, you know, are not afraid, you know, because they know it has to happen. So that's why the prophets are saying, yeah, exactly. You know, what's the hold up? You know, come on in. You know, the water's just fine. You know, there's, there's only one way to find out. The wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 20, let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying, he shall be respected. Such things, they, uh, verse 21, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 21. We're going to go down to the 24th verse. Such things they did imagine and were deceived, for their own wickedness had blinded them. And as for the mysteries of Yahweh, they they knew them not. See, yeah, because uh, back to the 21st verse, because their own wickedness had blinded them, because they're walking in darkness. You know, they don't believe that, uh, you know, the top, top, um, you know, Rulers, elites, you know, they know. But everyone else, you know, they don't believe. You know, they just believe in the left-hand side. You know, they don't, 
uh, they don't believe in the right hand side. As for you know, they don't believe that uh, you know that Yahweh was real. I mean, was shy. As for the mysteries, see the mysteries. It's the mystery of God, the Most High Yahweh. They knew them not because they don't know that. You know, they just think they just know their ways. And if you're not going according to their ways, oh, you gotta be put to death. You know, like, hey, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with this individual? Because they don't know the mysteries. Because the Lord is, is a mystery. Okay, he's a he's a master chess player. Okay, he is a man of war. Neither hope they for their wages of righteousness, nor discerns a reward for blameless souls. See that? Because they're all going to be judged for everything that they're doing. You know, they think just because they go underground, they have these underground cities and all that, you know, that they're not being watched. They're being watched. You know, the angels see everything. The Lord's, the Lord, Yahweh, his eyes are 10 times, uh, 10,000 times brighter than the sun. All right, Yahweh is so strong. If he were to come down here right now on the planet Earth, everybody would die immediately. This is how powerful he is. You know, but yet here they are. They want to fight him with some robots. You know, that's silly. Verse 23, for the most high created man to be immortal. See that? Because you Israelites are about to be immortal. Once our Lord and Savior arrives, Yahweh Shai, he has all of your immortal bodies, men, women, and children. You're going to have super bodies. Uh, facts, okay? You know, you're all, you're all going to be super. No more death. You know, you're going to be super. You're going to be able to fly, you know, go to uh, outer space. You're not going to have to need a, a space apparatus, you know, a, a space suit, you know, like these astronauts wear, like like these heathens. Okay, you're going to have, you're going to be extraterrestrial. Okay, that's why the Lord is saying repent because you're an Israelite, you know, and you daughters of Zion out there because you're not just the daughters of Zion. You are the daughters of Zion. Like, you are an Israelite. You know, it's just like that movie uh, Wakanda. Remember how advanced they were and how beautiful it was? That's like the Israelites, but that's on a that's on a low level. That doesn't even compare to what you are about to receive. You know, spaceships, you know, uh, space travel. You know, the whole world is was created for you guys. You know, you got to understand how, how major this is. You know, there's a, there's a, there's a good reason why these top Edomites... You know, want to take us out because what we're about to receive, they're not just going to hate on us for no reason. You know, there's a reason, you know, and that's that blessing and that birthright. That's why they're coming, you know, and even for you small level witches and warlocks, you know, Freemasons, oh, they're coming for you too. Absolutely. You know, because these top, these top elites, you know, they know what we're about to inherit. You know, yes, right now you may be doing a job for them. You may, you know, you may know a little witchcraft, you know. They may smile because you entertain them. You know, they can use you right now. But just wait once they start rolling, you know, because they already have a number of who they're going to keep and who they're going to take out. They already have everyone categorized. They have lists, you know, but don't matter. The elect, don't matter if you're on uh, the red list or whatever, you know, the Lord's going to intervene. And made him to be an image of his own eternity. Verse 24. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil, came death into the world. And they that do hold of it, of his side, do find it. See? Alright, so, the Lord is, um, you know, that was right there. The Lord telling us through his prophet, Ezra, um, the Lord telling us through Solomon. And that is Yehoshai and uh, reincarnation. Okay, because uh, we live many lives here. You know, reincarnation is very real. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. But he that sinneth against me, you know, against the Lord, wrongeth his own soul, him or she. Okay, him or her. So, you know, by you doing wrong and all that, you know, you may be laughing like, yeah, you know, we're giving the righteous a, a, a hard time and all that. You're only shooting yourself in the foot. Because the Lord's like, okay, fine, you know, all right, bet. You know, now they're telling the angels, all right, you know, get them, you know, get them, get them. All they that hate me love death. See that? So the wicked are through because they hate Yahweh. The Lord's saying, all right, fine. You know, I created you and you hate me, it's no problem, okay? Uh, telling the angels, go for it, you know, put them down. You know, all they that hate me love death. So there it is. You know, those that hate the Lord, the Lord's saying, all right, fine. Then you love, you know, you love death. 
And that's what these devils promote, you know, they promote death and all that, you know, but it's funny because they sure act like, you know, they like death and all that, but when it's their turn to go out, they bug out, like Aleister Crowley, okay, that, that devil was bugging out, he was scared, you know, Antoine LaVey, you know, these uh, Satanists, you know, they're all scared as heck, you know, looking to right before they passed away, you know, they weren't all mighty because they don't understand how it works. Sure, they're able to take other people's lives, but when it came to their own, they freaked out because they came right before the throne, you know, and that's when they got nervous. Um, because there's a, a, a so-called black man sitting on the throne. You know, he's all stern, you know. Just to show you out there that these Satanists are nothing. You know, facts. They're weak. W Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1. And we're going to go down to the ninth verse. But the souls of the righteous are in the hands of Yahweh, the Most High. See that? And there shall no torment touch them, because you are in good hands. You're in, those of you that are part of the elect that believe in the Lord, you got better insurance than Allstate. You know, you're in excellent hands, my man. You're in excellent hands, miss. You know, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their dis departure is taken for misery. Yeah, because right now, you know, the especially the prophets, but the elect, you know, they're they're. Uh, they're fleeing from the shadow of this world. So to the world, you know, they think, you know, like, oh, man, these people are just, uh, you know, they just live sad lives, you know, they just giving up. But no, they're really happy, you know. But to the majority of the world who, are, you know, are not in the know, they appear like, oh, man, these people, they just, you know, uh, they, they're not even really enjoying their lives, you know, but it's because they're waiting for the Lord. You know, they gave up everything, you know, to serve the Lord. You know, and all these wicked who are selling out and partaking of this world, it's all vanity. It's all going to come to naught, you know, because uh, especially if you're here in America and you're not part of the elect, okay, this place is about to be leveled by ICBMs. Facts, you know? So, you know, it's all for nothing. You know, those missiles are, are going to arrive. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 3. And that they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace, see? Because it may seem like, yeah, man, these, these people are through. Look at that, you know, they don't do nothing. You know, they live a boring life, but they're in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, because, yeah, the righteous are being constantly oppressed, you know, uh, constantly humiliated, you know, by the wicked, you know? But yet their hope is full of immortality, see? You know, because they're happy. You know, because they believe in the Lord. They're not trusting. They don't care what men say. You know, who cares, you know, what people say? You know, people say you're boring, you're this and that. How come, you know, how come, because uh, some, uh, some brothers have wives, but some brothers, they don't want it. You know, because uh, the Lord says that, uh, you know, to the true prophets, saying that, you know, those who haven't, who haven't uh, got married, and they don't have a wife, it's better just to stay by yourself. Like the Apostle Paul and Yehawashai. Okay. You know, because uh, we're in that time right now that uh, we're in a time of war, you know, and having a little and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. See that? So the Lord's saying what you're going through, you're righteous out there. It's just a little compared to what we're about to receive, you know, immortality, you know, inherit the planet Earth, power and dominion over the heathen, you know, uh, space travel, super bodies, facts. You know, no more death, immortality. That means you won't be able to die, you know? So the Lord's saying what we're going through is just a little. You know, I know it's uh, a little easier said than done, but this is our Lord saying, you know, it doesn't, uh, our chastisement doesn't even compare to what we're about to receive. For the Most High proof, here we go. For the Most High proved them and found them worthy for himself. See that? Because the Lord is, is testing us. It's all a test. See, because the Lord is proving you. How? By putting you through your how. Okay, by putting you through in the fire. Verse 6. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 6. As for gold in the furnace, hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. See? Because if you work at a jewelry, you know, jeweler, you know, how do you how do they purify, you know, the gold and silver? By putting it in the fire. You know, not too long, but just enough. So that's what the Lord is doing to the righteous. You know, it's not to destroy you. It's to purify you, okay, to make you better, 
you know, but the uh, the wicked, yeah, they're just going to wither away, you know. Verse 7, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 7, And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine. Right, because you, uh, the 144,000 are going to be activated. And also the elect, you know, you're going to have those new bodies. Okay, when the Lord gets here, remember St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 30 and 31, when he gets here in those ships, okay, Lord willing, I'm part of that elect. Lord willing, I'm worthy. Um, none of the hopeful elect are going to go into those ships in these bodies. You know, so don't worry about it. You know, right now, you know, you may, you know, uh, not, not too happy with yourself. You might have, you know, a few stretch marks or whatever. Don't worry about it. You know, of course, you know, take care of yourself the best that you can. But these bodies, we're not even, we're not going to take these bodies up there in those ships. All right. Absolutely. We, and that breakdowns in First uh, Corinthians chapter 15, you know, 15 verse 50 on down that, you know, we can't take these bodies in those ships, you know, so we're going to shed, we're going to shed these bodies, you know, and have a new body like that movie uh, Shazam. Remember when they say, hey, Shazam, and they turn into that super body? That's going to be us, you know? Lord willing, again, I'm part of that uh, hopeful number because none of us know, you know? So we're hoping, you know, that's, that's all we got, you know, because we're prisoners of hope, you know? But that's, uh, that's, that's real because no one's going to go up there in those ships and these bodies. You're going to shed these bodies and be changed in the blink of an eye, you know, at the last trump, huh? You know, you're going to, when you're, you're getting beamed up into the ship and that tractor beam, you're going to change instantly right before you go into that ship fast and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. You know, that's real. Okay. Because uh, the, remember the Lord has all of your new bodies. Okay. The Lord has them for you. All right. Wisdom of Solomon chapter three, verse eight, they shall judge the nations. See, because you're going to have power and dominion over the heathen. And have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, see? Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 9. They that put their trust in him, so they that put their trust in the Lord, shall understand the truth. And that's major. Key point, understand. See, because two-thirds, they don't understand. That's why they're just like, oh, whatever, you know? Keep eating pork, keep doing with their witchcraft, because they don't understand it. You know, they're kind of like, yeah, you know, I'm an Israelite, but they, they're not really understanding it. Neither does the, uh, the Edomites and heathens, you know, except the top, top, you know, bosses, you know, the top, top international bankers, you know, you know, the banking family, the, the top people, they know, you know, that's why they're going to come down hard on you guys because they know, they know that they're going to slavery. So you think they're just going to be like, oh, you know, you think they're up there saying, oh, well, yeah, we work kind of hard on them, you know. No, they're like, nah, you know, if we're not making it out of here, no one's making it out of here. You know, they're going to roll, you know, facts is very serious, you know, and they got top technology on the left hand side, you know, so much that uh, they even have the U.S. beat facts, you know, and look how strong the U.S. is, you know, they're the top, top military in the world, you know, but that's far as, you know, regular like nations, countries, but we're just talking about the left hand side. Okay, they got top, top technology. You know, but that's okay, you know, because uh, the 144,000 are here to combat them, to help you righteous, you know, absolutely. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints, who are the saints, you Israelites, and he hath care for his elect. See that? Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 verse 9. So, yeah, so although we are coming to a time of, uh, you know, testing and all that, you know, the Lord's telling us that, you know, we're not alone. Okay, remember, you know, God is real. Okay, He exists. You know, so yes, we are going to be tested. We're all going to go, remember, you know, through much tribulation must ye enter the kingdom. So we're all going to be tested. We're all going to, uh, no one's going to go into the kingdom unscathed, you know. We're all going to go through our trials, you know, some more heavier than others. But that's just the, what the Lord has, you know, for us, you know. But so with all that, you know, our, our enemies, you know, persecution and all that, you know, a great time of testing, betrayals, you know, pointing fingers, let them point fingers, you know. Let them betray. It's all right because they don't, if they're going against the Lord, they're finished, you know. Yes, it's going to get a little uncomfortable, but so what? 
you know, so what? Remember the latter end that we're about to inherit uh, the kingdom of heaven and that we got next, you know? Yes, the wicked are, they have a small window. They're going to, you know, bring out martial law, you know, those guillotines and all that. But that's a small little window, okay? Because our Lord is right around the corner. Because uh, once that, you know, uh, CHIP, you know, the new digital ID is made mandatory. Revelation chapter 13, verse 15 through 18. All right. Um, that's it. You know, you can start the countdown. You know, because these FRNs, the American dollar bill will collapse. Facts. You know, facts. And uh, right here, you can we can clearly see that World War Three is right here. You know, right around the corner. Okay, right here, right around the corner. And the Lord is going to arrive in the middle of World War III. You know, so it's not going to be years and years of, you know, martial law and people going to concentration camps. And, you know, the left-hand side has, you know, just Terminators out here and robots and, you know, drones. No, okay? It's just going to be a small little window because they have to fulfill that prophecy. You know, so you have to understand that that will happen. You know, it will get very serious out here. But that's a small little window. But we have help, you know, you are not alone. You know, you can see that there's a recordings of the so-called UFOs, so-called UAPs worldwide. You know, the, the Lord is showing you that the angels are right here and that the Lord, his eyes are on you. You know, although the majority of the world is coming up against you, that's all right. You know, uh, let them scoff, you know, but the creator of the universe is on your side. Okay. His eyes are on you. Absolutely. And that goes out too to uh, all you Israelites out there. You know, those of you too that look like, uh, uh, even that look like the other nations, you know, so-called white man, so-called white woman, so-called Asian, okay, so-called um, so uh, East Indian, you know, don't get down on yourself. If you believe in the Lord, okay, then you're with us, you know, on your feet, soldier. Remember, the Lord is gonna, the Lord is gonna take out the Edomites, okay, because there's two differences between the so-called white man. There's a so-called white man and white woman that believe in Satanists, okay, they're Edomites, you know, that believe in Satan, and then there's a so-called white individuals that believe in the Lord, okay, and you guys are good folks, okay, you guys are awesome, see, because it don't matter how you look, all right, there's a difference between the so-called white man, okay, there's the true biblical Edomites, who are uh, predest predestined for destruction. And then there's the, the, the so-called uh, white people out there, individuals, but they believe in the Lord and they're good folks. See, but you're going to make it. You know, you're going to make it on that ship. See, you know, absolutely. You know, so, um, yeah, you have to remember that, uh, remember, uh, it doesn't matter too if you're uh, in the, even in the um, uh, America, if you're in, even in their military, you know, if you're an American citizen, you know, the, you know, um, no, that, you know, it does not matter. Okay, because if you are an Israelite, you're, you know, if you're part of that elect, you're going up. You're going into a ship. Okay, facts, you know, so that way you just know that, oh, you know, it's just to reassure you, you know, out there that uh, the Lord is coming for his elect. Because uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter your job or your career. You know, if you are part of his elect... You know, if you are his sons and daughters, you know, if you're part of that elect, uh, you're going up. Facts. You know, because this thing's not about color. You know, this thing is if you are Israelite, if you're a part of his chosen, of the hopeful elect. You know, and it doesn't matter what your status is. It doesn't matter what your job is. Okay, police officer, a firefighter, military, construction worker, you work at fast food, a warehouse, you know, a doctor, a lawyer, okay, if you are part of his hopeful elect, you are part of the elect, you're going up, my man, okay, you are going up, miss, and that goes out to uh, our women out there, okay, yes, we have wicked women out there, and the Lord's going to deal with them accordingly, but to the righteous women out there, you know, uh, keep going, you know, keep going, you know, you're doing a good job, you know, don't let no one um, put you down, absolutely, you know, and, uh, yeah, you know, to uh, you Israelites out there, you know, to those of them, you know, uh, you know, of, of the, you know, the few sisters out there, you know, you know, the, these, um, you know, women who are good, you know, they're trying, you know, be good to them, you know, uh, talking to the brothers now, you know, the Akiyam, 
you know, because, um, yes, you know, the prophets are, you know, men, but, you know, just remember, you know, have a little patience, you know, with those of our women who are righteous, you know, because they are trying, you know, and, we, you know, and they, uh, you know, they are our women, you know, so be good to them. Yes, you know, those that are folly, of course, you know, just cut them off, you know, hey, let them be, the Lord's going to deal with them. But those who are trying, you know, be a little patient with them, you know, a little bit. You know, you have to remember them because they're they're trying as well. You know, they are the daughters of Zion. You know, they're very beautiful. You know, be good to them. You know, show them. Show them the way. Huh? You know? You know, be good to them because they're our women. You know, they're the daughters of Zion. You know, for those that are trying. You know, you got to remember that because if, you know, if there's no women that go up there in the kingdom, how are we going to, how are we going to uh, procreate? You know, how are we going to have children? You know, because the women have a very important role. Huh? And that goes both ways, you know, to you women out there too, you know. If, uh, you know, you have, uh, you know, a good husband or, you know, you uh, you see someone who's trying, you know, one of the uh, one of the elect, you know, be good to him too. You know, because uh, we're family. Huh? There's a lot of mess going on between the 12 tribes. You know, that's enough. You know, so, uh, you know, be good to each other because know that, you know, we're family. Huh? And um, that we're all trying, you know, none of us are perfect, but, you know, we're all right here in the trenches together. You know, we're trying, you know, we're fighting for righteousness, you know, to be established on the planet Earth. You know, it's not going to be easy, but, you know, the righteous, you know, you guys are going to win. That's just a FYI. You know, I don't care what the wicked say. I don't care what they're talking about. Okay, the righteous are going to win. It's written. All right, so, you know, just keep it simple. You know, be honest. Do the best you can. And on your feet, soldier. Shalom.